but in the end, customers will decide which technologies and business plans will survive. So yes, the future is not clear. The biggest questions resolve, revolve around how these potentially disruptive changes will come about. What regulatory roadblocks will emerge? What role will tech companies play? Which of our companies will succeed or fail in addressing the coming wave of change? And which will be able to move quickly and adapt in such a rapidly changing technological landscape? I don't pretend to know all the answers to these questions, but rather than fear the disruption, I believe our industry really has no choice but to embrace it, anticipate it. I expect the global auto industry to see more changes in the next five years than it has in the last 20. And those changes will bring tremendous opportunities for those companies with the skills and foresight to save them. Rather than fear tech companies' interest, I think this new competition is healthy for our industry. We have a lot to learn from them and they have much to learn from us, which is quite clear considering all the automotive talent they have been hiring. So, with that said, let me share a few thoughts of what I see on our industry long-term horizon. When I last spoke at this breakfast, it was in 2012, our industry was still focused on whether electric vehicles were part of the future. Nissan had just introduced the LEAF a year earlier and we had sold 30,000 units. Since then, the Renault-Nissan Alliance is leading the industry with more than 300,000 electric vehicles sold globally. Not as much as we had expected, but certainly a healthy start. More significantly today, nearly every major automaker has ambitious projects on the way for new EVs and other zero emission vehicles. The clear EVs are here to stay. The Nissan Leaf is the world's top selling EV by far, with more than 200,000 owners today. And that's the position we intend to keep. The Leaf has also become the top Nissan vehicle in customer satisfaction, tied with the GTR. There are several reasons to be bullish about EV's future. To deal with the threat of climate change, the world is demanding that our industry invest more in zero emission transportation. Governments around the world are imposing stricter limits on CO2 emissions, and one major response has to be electrification. But beyond environmental regulation, EV just makes sense. We have already seen within the lines how the cost of EVs continues to go down, as their economy of scale begin to inch closer to those enjoyed by the internal combustion engines. EVs are also relatively simple machines, a battery and electric motors. They require far less service, no oil changes, and they are extremely reliable. With battery technology improving and the charging infrastructure expanding in much of the world, we are nearing the turning point where EVs will become more of a mainstream option. 